Okay, now in the previous example, x was heading towards infinity, and the degree of the numerator and denominator polynomials, those two degrees were equal. Here, the degree of the denominator polynomial is higher, and I'll come back to that at the end and talk a little bit more about that fact. But for now, let's just get started with our work. Let me just comment that this example, as well as the previous example, they are both examples of a type infinity over infinity problem because the numerator and denominator here are both getting huge. They're both heading towards infinity. So this is considered indeterminate as well, but our algebra techniques here will let us finish computing this limit. So let me write down the original problem and then we'll get started seeing what we can do with it. So we're looking at limit as x heads towards infinity of x to the fourth minus 13 over x to the sixth minus 1. So let me again rewrite this problem to get us set up to divide the numerator and denominator by the highest power of x appearing in the denominator. So what I'd like to do is divide the numerator by x to the sixth and divide the denominator by x to the sixth. And again, we're just multiplying by a fraction that equals 1, and so we're not changing things here, but this algebra technique will help us to finish this limit problem. So we have the limit as x heads towards infinity, and now I'm going to distribute the 1 over x to the 6th to the two terms in the numerator, and similarly in the denominator. And so, x to the fourth over x to the sixth is 1 over x squared, and then we have a minus 13 over x to the sixth. In the denominator, x to the sixth over x to the sixth is 1, and then we have a minus 1 over x to the sixth. Now again, as x heads towards infinity, each of these fractions that looks like a constant over some power of x they all head to zero as x heads towards infinity because our denominator is getting bigger and bigger and our numerator is just staying fixed. And as you can see, that's leaving us with a numerator that is just heading to zero and a denominator that is heading to one. And so our limit is working out to zero over one, which is zero. And the reason we're dividing the numerator and denominator by the highest power of x appearing in the denominator in particular is to keep the denominator simple and then investigating the overall limit by really looking at what's happening in the numerator divided by some simple denominator behavior. And so here we got 0 over 1, which is 0. Now, I had mentioned that it was important that the degree of the denominator was higher than the degree of the numerator. And I want to just write that down and then talk about that for a moment. So the degree of the denominator was greater than the degree of the numerator. What that means for this fraction is that the denominator is growing much more rapidly than the numerator. Both are heading towards infinity, but the denominator is heading towards infinity more quickly. And because of that, the fraction gets pulled to zero because we're getting a denominator that ends up tremendously huge compared to the numerator. If this seems strange to you, you could try a numerical example. For instance, let x equal a million and look at a million to the fourth minus 13 and look at a million to the sixth minus one. A million to the sixth minus one is way huger than a million to the fourth minus 13. And as a result, the ratio is going to be very small in size, very close to zero. And in the limit, the limit here is zero. So that concludes this tutorial. And we have two further examples to look at. In particular, we haven't looked at an, at an example here where the numerator degree is bigger than the denominator degree. And that's one of the things we'll look at in the further examples.